quote, willful retention of classified documents. The report didn't recommend criminal charges, but did find evidence Biden kept and shared highly classified materials while he was a private citizen. The Biden administration is criticizing the special counsel report for its characterization of the president's memory and age. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Zhang has new reporting. Tonight, the White House is doing damage control, defending President Biden's mental fitness. I dispute that the characterizations about his memory that were in the report are accurate because they're not. And accusing special counsel Robert Hur, once a Trump appointee, of taking partisan shots at the president. The comments that were made by that prosecutor, gratuitous, inaccurate, and inappropriate. The way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. I don't think this classified document thing is going away. I don't think these questions are going to stop. I have a feeling that once the White House press corps starts asking questions that really have been piling up for three years now, I have a feeling once that levy breaks, it's going to flood. There is nothing they can do to stop it. And everything is fair game and everything should be fair game. The guy has been lying for 40 years about college and not just about his grades. He lied about that too, but lied about even where he went to college. Remember when he said he went to a historically black university? I mean, come on. He lied about that. He lied about being a civil rights leader when in reality, he was a freaking segregationist at the time. I mean, once a segregationist, always a segregationist, but he was a bona fide one then. And never, never have these people ever, ever, ever fact-checked him. Well, now it looks like they have no choice. I mean, the guy literally struggled through, actually lied through the press conference designed to reassure the American people after what was disclosed in the special counsel's report. And it's so bad that even CNN, they can't take it anymore. A CNN senior reporter, Daniel Dale. Great to see you, by the way. Daniel, haven't seen you in a you while. Too, One thing that President Biden said is basically that he stored the documents in filing cabinets that could be locked. Let's listen. All the stuff that was in my home was in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. Daniel? Just, just not true, John. Uh, this report from the special counsel includes photos. Those photos include shots of a box uh, just sitting in President Biden's Delaware garage. The special counsel described it as a badly damaged box sitting amid household detritus. So there was some material that was in c cabinets uh, locked or lockable, as the president said, but all of it certainly not. And that open, unsealed damage box included, according to the special counsel, highly sensitive, top secret material about the war in Afghanistan. Not to mention, it was also home to renowned, world-renowned, Eastern European energy executive, Chinese financier, and junkie, Hunter Biden. And, and who knows who he was really bringing around. I mean, they also, they cut that off a little early. Biden had another, uh, I think, pretty egregious lie when he tried to compare himself to Donald Trump on this. He said, they were in my home, not some public place like Mar-a-Lago, which I think it's important to note Mar-a-Lago's under the protection of the secret freaking service. I mean, what would you choose? Let me know in the comments. Beat up old box in a junkie's house or secret service protection in a sprawling members only compound for your highly sensitive documents about the war in Iraq. I think it's a pretty clear choice. We'll keep going here, but before we do guys, if you haven't already, join us. Be a part of the channel's growth. This is gonna be a very, very important year for conservative voices and I need your help to make sure that we're heard. So make sure to like, Comment, subscribe, most importantly, share. Let's keep going. Okay, another claim that President Biden made, none of the documents were highly classified. Let's listen. None of it was high classified. Didn't have any of that red stuff on it. You know what I mean, around the corners? None of that. Daniel? That claim that he didn't have any material that was quote unquote high classified is also not true, John. The special counsel's report says that the president possessed multiple highly classified documents that were indeed marked as being highly classified documents, including some marked as top secret slash SCI, sensitive compartmented information. That is a very high level of classification. For example, special counsel Her uh, discussed two top secret documents about Afghanistan found in that open unsealed damage box in the garage, one of which Her said, 
contains highly sensitive info about military programs and another that contains info about sensitive intelligence and sources and methods. Now, it's not clear, John, if any of those Biden documents had those colored borders we saw on classified docs that former President Trump had, which I think is what President Biden was referring to uh, when he talked about red around the corners. But still, whatever coloring these documents had, the special counsel says they were clearly marked as highly classified. And then I should add, her also said that investigators' analysis of Biden's own handwritten notes from his time as vice president showed that these notebooks also contained highly classified info, though those were not marked. And her said a sampling of 37 excerpts found that, quote, eight are top secret with sensitive compartmented information, seven of which include information concerning human intelligence sources, plus six others that were top secret. And still, man, knowing all this, I mean, how egregious is that? How angry does that make you just hearing all that stuff? But even hearing all that, knowing all that, there are people that have convinced themselves that President Biden is completely absolved, that he did no wrong, that he really could do no wrong. The guy stored special access materials about human sources in a shitty old box in his garage. If you don't know what that means, that is a document that very literally could have gotten someone killed. And they think this guy is innocent. And the part about the report about him being innocent because he's essentially not competent to stand trial, well, don't listen to that. That's some sort of bogus politically motivated attack job from his own Department of Justice. I mean, these people are insane. They've allowed the propagandists to literally control their brains. And really, that, that aside, I don't understand how a prosecutor can have this sort of power. You know, Congress, if they can get involved, they've got to get involved. How can you file a report saying that the man had special access materials that he should not have ever had, that no one should have, but I'm not going to charge him? Uh, and then the third claim that he made, Daniel, there was that he did not share classified information with a ghostwriter on a book he was working on. Listen to that. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter? With my ghostwriter. I did not. Guarantee you did not. But what the special the, counsel said it. Well, no, I did it not did. say that. Okay. okay. He did not say that. But so he's entitled to say he didn't do it. He can defend himself. But he also said the special counsel didn't say that he did share that classified info with the ghostwriter. Except, John, the special counsel did say that explicitly. Her wrote, quote, Mr. Biden shared information, including some classified information from those notebooks with his ghostwriter. So there it is in black and white. Now, her did elaborate that Biden shared classified info with the ghostwriter uh, by reading nearly verbatim from the notebooks on at least three occasions, including notes from meetings in the Situation Room. He did find that Biden, quote, at times tried to avoid sharing classified info, like by skipping over certain material as he was reading them to the ghostwriter. And her did write that the evidence does not show that Biden knew the info was classified. Nonetheless, even though the special counsel did clearly give him some material to defend himself with, this is not a factual defense. So he could cite the factual stuff, you know, her said, didn't know it was intentional, et cetera. But declaring the special counsel just did not say what he said, John, is not a factual defense. So I have to disagree with that. Uh, I think Joe Biden knew that he shared classified materials with his ghostwriter. Either he did know that or the ghostwriter is smarter and more qualified to handle those materials than Joe Biden himself was, which, of course, is highly, highly likely. The guy's been mishandling them for 40 years. But the reason I say that is when the guy found out that the feds were coming to talk to him about his work, about that book, about writing and about what they talked about, he destroyed everything that he had that he thought contained classified materials, which, of course, to anyone else on the planet, that is obstruction of justice. But of course it's related to Joe Biden, so the special counsel, he's not gonna charge that either. But to this guy's point about Biden lying and saying that the special counsel, you know, what they did or didn't say, of course he's gonna do that. You know, they really don't believe that anyone is gonna read a word of that report. They depend on people being lazy. They depend on people being busy. They rely on people trusting these state-sanctioned propagandists that in most cases are gonna distill those, that 300 page report that contains crimes and serious questions about probably the necessity of the 25th amendment being invoked, they're gonna distill that all down to about 15 seconds that basically imply Joe is innocent, Trump is bad, and all is good in the world. But I don't think they're gonna get away with that this time. I do not think that this is going away and I don't think that that's gonna happen, but that's just my take guys. Let me know yours in the comments. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.